Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made. Alright, we're back, and uh, I think I have everybody booked up. Two of our horses will be at the World JF Cup, one of them with a realistic chance to win. The other, I'm just seeing what he can do on the dirt. <laughs> That's really about it. Because if he could win that race, that would be fantastic. I feel good with him, so, you know, we'll see what we can do. I think a top five at that race will be really good for him as a two-year-old, for sure. Especially since he's not a dirt horse. Um, Prince Cup, though, with Monsters Legend. I mean, dude, this is kind of win or go home. Like, I don't really want to continue to race him beyond this year at this point. It's just, it, it's not becoming enjoyable. You know, like, I would rather do well consistently on a horse with you know average stats but like nothing bad like a 34 response then be on a horse like monsters legend who has fantastic stats but like i can't even maximize his potential it's just like a big tease and a troll at the same time you know what i mean this guy has fantastic stats except for response if that rating was like his power or his feel rating either a 53 or 64 i'm not even having this conversation you know at all it's just frustrating. It's not something I want to deal with long term. Retire him early. His eval and classification would not be great. I could care less. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll see if we, like I said, if, if we have a broodmare with, you know, essentially, a broodmare is going to have to have S rank stamina, I think. You know what? A or S. I'd prefer S response. If I could find a broodmare like that, which I think is Big Monster. But I can't do that because that's his mother. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like... Uh, breeding with him would be limited for a while anyways. I don't even know who spot he's going to take. Because back there we have... Vivid Legend, not getting rid of yet. Crimson Art, of course not. Be a Legend, I haven't even bred with him yet. Perfection, whatever. And then I just retired Dear Vivid Dream. If I was going to probably remove anybody, it'd be Perfection. For him. And at least we have one foal from perfection, so I, 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 the thing is, I would hate to essentially have him replace and then come to find out he's actually a really good sire. That's happened to me a couple of times, you guys know, on the channel. Especially in 2004. You know, I retired a horse that I shouldn't have, as far as for breeding purposes, or I, you know, I got, I replaced him essentially. Like, Western Tiger, I, I should have really kept all along because he gave us. He's giving us, still to this day, such strong strong horses. I never should have replaced him over whoever I decided to do that with. I certainly could have kept him. He's won. I think there's a broodmare. I maybe retired early as well. In this game, like, really shouldn't have gotten rid of uh, Scotch Dancer. Deer, Pu Deer Puffy, perfect partner. I should have kept them. You know what I mean? I've done that a couple of times, so... That's... I I'm... I'm indecisive about whether or not I really do want to replace uh, Perfection, you know, with Monsters Legend. And it's only because he has pretty solid stats. I mean, his stats are much better than Perfection stats were. So that is a that is a winning argument. But you know, what if what if Monsters Legend turns out not to be a good sire despite his good stats? You know, like these are the things you have to make. These are the decisions you have to make. Now I gotta get him going now. I almost fell asleep. Don't over whip. I mean, look, he's running full speed, and he's still not even making a dent on these horses. Like, this is... That's what I mean, man. His response rating, it just hurts so much. Getting him going any sooner, like, is that even, like, a real, a legitimate thing? I mean, we're still in this race, but he needs grit or something, like, now. Stretch burst works. 11 is keeping us company. He's gonna finish second. But, like, a clear second. But, you know, that's where we were supposed to finish. Tropical Gem wins. They give me an S for the stretch. But I think on, on any other horse I'm currently riding on, with the right stamina and the right distance for that race, I think I'm winning with them. <sighs> East of Pool, we're up here. Got to win this one for sure. Divine Carol. I botched the last one with her because I got her going way too soon. I will not do that again. I'm going to drop Monsters Legend to a grade 2. 
Let's see how that does. The horses are on the track. Like the only thing I could still technically try to achieve with him is to try to chase yearly awards, right? Which means it's going to be a mix of grade threes, grade twos, and maybe the you know occasional grade one on the on the regular you know NA domestic level. That's about all he would be worth if I chose not to retire him. Trying to chase titles with him would be too frustrating. I wouldn't even do that to myself. So, um, yeah, like I could only try to go for like a, an award, four-year-old award next year for him. If I'm not trying to chase that, I don't really know what's the point in keeping him around, honestly. And like I said, that sucks to say. You guys know how I feel about my horses. I mean, unless they're the knucklehead, like the um, Crackle Thunders, King Bee's little brother. Unless they're like that. Like, I love all of my horses, even if they're not, like, great horses, you know? So, Monsters Legend, I, I love him. It's just his response rating, man. It's too bad. Okay, there we go. Good jump, good jump. Much better run here. Much better run for East to pull. And I don't see anybody making any serious grounds. That's what I was supposed to do in her last grade one, but it's fine. We bounced back in a great fashion and East to pull. She is looking awesome right now as a two year old. Glad I decided to, to try her out, you know? I was going to literally just buy Hot Soul, then I saw some other horses before I purchased him. And or before I was going to purchase him. And I'm like, okay, wait, some of these horses look good. And then I'm like, you know what? I need to run with all these horses in free mode because, like, I don't want to waste time buying a horse, especially since you have such limited space in this game. I wouldn't want to buy a horse and then come to find out, like, I can't even really win with that horse. That, that would be really, really annoying. So, like I said, I'm glad I obviously, you know, tested them out. And Easter Pool, you clearly see, she felt the best for me. Better than Hot Soul and two others that I tried. I mean, she really felt... She's really fast and strong, man. I mean, she pulls away, she gets that quick jump, and then she's freaking gone. Five length winner over Redway, Divine Carol, not even in the conversation. It's another win, and that's at seven furlongs. That is her second. So should have been her third, but it's fine. Try to go, um, try to get her an all rounder title if I can. Okay, Monsters Legend, dropping you down to a grade two. You're not feeling well. I know, bud. I know it's not your fault, man. You can't help what you were born with. <laughs> you know? Um. I'm going to run him in a grade 2, and that's going to be it. Like, if he can't figure out a way to win that, I'm kind of over it. If I can get him in one. Like, there's really no good grade 2s for him. Six furlongs? I don't, I don't know if that's going to... I don't know if six would work. 18, that's just... What's his stamina? 77? He could run 18. <laughs> as crazy as that seems, I think he could... His stats are good enough for that. I thought my game froze for a second. That was gonna freak me out. Um, this twelve and a half would be perfect, but he's gonna be in the green, and like, what's the point in doing that to him? If I do that, I don't think he'll be ready for that eighteen grade two, wherever the heck it is. Yeah, December. Mm. If he's in the green now, he'll be back in the gray. He'll be back in the green for that. It's like, would I rather keep him in the blue to run 18 furlongs? And what's the point of even winning this race? Why is it so long? Races like those are always weird to me. Like, there has to be more races in this month than just these four, right? There's got to be more than that. Or do I run him a much shorter distance with him not at a hundred percent? You see, I'm already struggling with him. I mean, they're gonna give us a handicap for that anyway. So you know, we're gonna give him the long layoff and just run him in this 18. If he manages to win that, okay. But like I said, I want to create. You know what? I mean, what's the point in trying to to win a grade two with him? There were some other really good two-year-olds that kind of want to acquire. You know, I still have time. That's the first week of December. I'll race with him there. Just wish there was other grade twos to put him in. But there's nothing feasible. This would have been fantastic, but he's going to carry an impost. 139. Hold on. Like, 
Why is there an open race of 15 furlongs? What is... What was Tecmo on? 141. Continental Cup. 121. Okay, so he'll be carrying almost an extra 20 pounds if I ran him in a race with an impost. What's his right? Is he 121 now? Or is it not going to tell me here? Oh, it's not like 2004 where it doesn't... That's annoying. Uh... What is his rating? I'm curious. I'd be shocked if the game actually had him higher than I believe he just, that he's earned. But that is kind of how things go for me, isn't it? In Gallup Racer. They just don't make sense. Well, he's three years old, so... Oh, it doesn't even... In 2004, you can scroll down like quite a bit. I think from the, the highest almost to like the early 100s. This only shows you the top 10. Obviously not in the, in the question. Social Brandy should be up here for the dirt. Some, they still... I mean, I think Social Brandy should be up here for the dirt. I mean, these are... These horses... Mo, half of these horses aren't even competing in any of the international grade ones. Like, Sedate Ruler, I guarantee you, is not running internationally. He's just doing domestic stuff. He always does. That's baloney, bro. They have him up here for the four-year-old turf, but not the dirt. That doesn't make any sense at all. We have done extremely well on the dirt. We're leading the dirt in the GWS. This game is so goofy. He's 138 for the turf. Like, he should be leading in the dirt, and 138 for the turf, that's perfectly fine. <sighs> game still doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Oh, wait. Two-year-olds. Can I check that? Yeah. He used to pull. not even up here. She's just... <laughs> I mean, my goodness, she's won two grade ones. And granted, I know I don't really have her on the path, but like, let me double check what it is in this game for sure. I have it in my spreadsheets, but I looked. Okay, well, none of these horses were on that, that classification level, so... Yeah, the path is not it. Like, what? I mean, I, we're not winning our races by huge lengths with Easta Pool, but, I mean, she's... Ugh. Whatever, man. I mean, I would like to get her up to a double S rating. That's why I'm kind of annoyed. But, like, they're just acting like, oh, she's not doing that well. Like, are you... But she's a two-year-old that's already won two grade ones. Realistic horse racing... Uh, you know, worlds and, and terms. I mean, that, that would be insane. A two-year-old knocking off two grade one so soon. I'm going to run her in that Philly Cup, of course. She wins that, she should get, you know, two-year-old uh, Philly of the year. And Monsters, why, what did I do? Oh, I was contemplating on retiring him now. But you know what? I am curious if he's just a horse that just can't win against grade one competition with his bad response rating. Like, 18 seems ridiculous, but he almost has 80 stamina. He has A-rank stamina. I mean, usually an A-rank stamina horse can handle a distance as ridiculous as 18 furlongs. And I'm just curious why it's there. Like, why do races like those exist in this game? Like, I, unless they unlock a special race for you, they, they sh just shouldn't really have races that long. Unless They should be grade ones. Like, there shouldn't be a 15 furlong open with no sort of real stakes involved. There shouldn't be an 18 furlong grade 2 unless the same stipulations apply. Which we'll figure out here soon. But it doesn't make sense, man. Anyways. Quiet Sound. I think he's on the board. Uh, Petit. No. Most of these horses aren't even on the board. But for two-year-olds, I don't think. But I could be wrong. Maybe some of them are. It doesn't matter. Uh, Mustang Alpha. I guarantee you we're going to be projected to finish like 10th or worse yep not even 10th or worse like like 14th last place no shot at all because of his preference on turf instead his stats but you guys know what i always say i, I don't care what the game says because all we have to do is just catch these horses napping and we have a chance to you know shock some people I'm not saying it's going to happen it's very unlikely it'll happen, but 
there's always a chance. The Mustang Alpha is proving that he can make things happen. You know what I mean? He's proving it for surely. Despite his stats, and of course, he was a horse I was talking about retiring. And now it's the other way around. Now it's like, no, I'm actually going to keep him around for a bit to see what he can do. And his older brother, I'm actually going to retire because I can't actually win with him anymore. It's, I, mean, I can't even say anymore. It's not, we've only won five races with him out of like his four, however many starts now. Like he is really underachieved considering his stats. So like, yeah, keeping him around is pointless. Okay, can like... He's really struggling to make any move on the dirt, man. I'm going to have to keep him a lot higher up because he is not going to make any progress coming around turns three and four. I don't know if moving him inside was a good idea. Ah, crap. Gosh, dang it. Probably not a good idea. But you know what? We have a gap here. Punch it, punch it, punch it. Like, he's really struggling to keep up on the dirt. No surprise, but... Okay. okay. I want to make sure I get him outside. Good run. We got a long way to go. Come on. I just want to see what he can do, man. We have nothing to lose in this race. If we could have been able to run at the front, this would be a whole different story. He's still not doing bad, though. He's probably going to start dropping back. And he is. Well, you know. He complied with me for most of that race, so I have no complaints. Gave it our best shot. I mean, he's a D-ranked horse. He's certainly not on the level of these horses. But I think if I continue to let him develop, give him a year and a half, two years, maybe there's a different story. Still gave us an S for the stretch. I mean, surely with his growth in the future and better stats, that could have been a completely different result. So I'm not, I'm not mad at that at all. I mean, he showed me heart. Finished the last, but he showed me a lot of heart. Showed us a lot of heart. He's only two years old, so Mustang Alpha is actually looking pretty nice. We're switching gears. The World Turf Cup, turf, uh, yeah, World Turf Cup with Social Blande. Eh? Fairy Singers here. We've beaten everybody here, so I'm not really worried, and we shouldn't be because they've given us pretty heavy favoritism. We're about three dollar favorite next to Pale Rhythm and Proud Wonder, so yeah, for sure. This is our race to win. Establish a firm lead in the GWS dirt, and with this win, we can establish that lead in the GWS turf as well. That's the plan. You know what I've noticed? I'm not listening to music tonight, and I feel like when I don't listen to music when I play, I talk a lot more. I don't know if that's good or bad, because I guess that just depends on you as the listener. Do you like to hear Eric talk about nonsense, or maybe some decent Galbracer things, or do you like to hear Eric talk less because you think Eric knows nothing about Galbracer? Tough decision, right? <laughs> uh, I'm joshing. Anyways, good start here for Social Brandy. Uh, terrible draw, though. Post position 14. I mean, I'm going to have to really run him full speed for a bit just to get him around those horses, and fortunately, we got that done. And fortunately, he's a strong enough horse to make that work. I was annoyed about that, but I didn't really feel like we weren't going to get it done. You know what I mean? Having that type of confidence in your horse is a great thing to have, for sure. Um, I want to send him to the inside if I can. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, are they saying it's closed? No, it's not. Okay, I was going to say. I thought they were saying, like, the gap was closed. I'm like, it's not. My head is literally in between it. My head and my, my, you know, torso. So this is perfect. Who are we looking out for? Fairy Singer? Way back there? Yeah, he has a higher chance of running into traffic than catching us legitimately on merit. I'm not worried. This is an easy dub for Social Brandy. Easy, dubber, incoming. Now, I certainly hope I don't eat those words, because I feel like when I say that, I actually end up losing sometimes. So, I don't want to be jinxing myself now. Barry Singer starting to make a move, though. What's happening back there? Oh, he's still not. Where is he coming from? Oh, he's coming from way off. Okay, well, no worries. You got a long way to go, brother. You got a long way to go, and Social Brandy is just kicking into gear now. Ooh, over wits. 
Nah. Easy dub. Easy dub, as I said. Very Singer was way too far back. There's no way he was going to be able to catch us. No way. I mean, that horse is S-ranked as well. <laughs> I mean, Social Brandy's double S. Very Singer's S. Very good horse. I like him a lot in 2004, but he was never going to catch us. Easy dub, as I said, and that's another win. That's a big one. That's the World Turf Cup, and that's 12 furlongs. That's win number eight. Win num Grade one win number eight for Social Brandy. What a horse, man. What a freaking horse, I told you. Really fun horse. I I've really appreciated working with different horses in this game that I think others that play the game just haven't really used, you know? Because I think Samantha said it in our Discord recently, like, most of us that have played Gallop Racer, we just always end up kind of using the same slew of horses. I just think it gets boring. It's like we're not really talking about truly different results, I mean, truly different situations. You know, our horses obviously turn out to be different, but if we're all typically using the same sires and brood mares, it gets a little bit boring, man. I like to hear people show me or, you know, talk to us about their super horses that they created from two kind of unknown horses that the Gallup Racer community is not really familiar with. You know, that is exciting. Everybody knows when you breed, you know, Fast Navy, Spinning Post, Wonder Whale, you know, uh, Vivid Legend. You know, Aunt B. Um, you know the you know the really really good horses of the game. We we all know when you breed those horses with, you know, the right mates. Like you're gonna get a really really strong horse. That's a given. You know, we always know that. You hear that name, you know, okay, they probably got a really good horse. But when you see or hear a name that you're not familiar with, it's like oh, you know, you look into that horse and then, you know, you may discover something you like. Social Brandy, still tied with Proud Wonder for the turf and Cosmic Fear for the dirt. I mean, he's better than both of those horses. I, Cosmic closed in on us that one race, I think, but... I mean, Proud Wonder, like, I, I don't even remember racing... Have we raced against that horse at all? I feel like that horse has just been, like, a non-factor. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, point I'm trying to make again is just that it's nice to see people have success in this game using different horses that just not like just the cliche go-to for everybody in the community i'm not taking shots at anybody i'm just saying like i mean i think the gallop racer community has a lot of awesome people a lot of smart people like we should try to like figure out different things don't you think <laughs> like obviously using certain horses are always going to guarantee you or have a higher chance of guaranteeing you good results with your breeding easier time you know going through the game yeah i get that but like just playing gallop racer the same way every save we do like how like how is you know like how is that really I, I would say exploring what you can do in the game i think being able to experiment not just with the common great horses we all know of but there's thousands of horses in the gallop racer titles guys like across gallop racer 3 to gallop racer uh, 2006, you know, 2008 in, like, Japan. That's several generations of Gallop Racer games. Obviously, most of the horses are the same, but then they've added and removed new ones. That's thousands of different horses. There's no way all of us have bred and raced consecutively with every single horse in this game. I refuse to believe that. You know what I mean? Um, so, I, I still believe there's plenty... Of different horses to try in this game now the unfortunate thing getting back to social brandy here is I don't even know if I can put him in the GWS dirt again yeah he's done for the dirt that's it I mean we're all done for the dirt actually so I so I wonder if he'll get that win he might get the GWS dirt win because there's no other dirt races I don't think wait no I lied there's um these two well, we could run him in the Independence, but then he won't be in the blue for the China Cup, and he has to win that as well. Oh, this is tough. Really, really tough. Because if I run him in this, and then... Yeah, if I run him in this, and he's in the green now, he's going to be back in the green by the time we get to that last race, the China Cup. Which, is that in week two? Oh, it's in week three, okay. Now, he's going to be in the green for this China Cup race. Like, I guess the, you know, the choice 
uh, I'm trying to make is, do I run him green and two grade ones to try to be greedy and win both titles in the same year? Or do I play it safe and run him in this China Cup in the blue to secure at least a China turf win? I mean, a uh, GWS turf win from the China Cup. That's a really hard decision because I think uh, I think if I save him for this race, 100% GWS turf winner, no doubt about it. But he also has a chance to win the dirt. He's leading a both. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to register him for... I'll register him for this race. I can always scratch him beforehand, I think. And see who's going to be in there. Because unless the horse, is, the horse that's going to be... Remember, Gout Racer, if there's a horse that's tied with you in the GWS, sometimes they just stop racing them after that. Even if even if they have more chances to like get back into the GWS title hunt. If they're tied with you for first or second place or whatever... Sometimes they'll just drop off of the rest of the GWS calendar for like the last three races. So I want to see if anybody's going to be there. Because if not, then obviously I'll skip that race. But if so, I think I have, we have to run it. You know? All right, Mustang. I think we can get you in the Young Crown Cup, bro. Yes. Furlong shorter, but I mean, you have a chance to become a two-year-old Colt, I think, with that win. So, you know. Their stats are still average, but I mean, Young Colt Cup, I mean, depends who's there. I don't think the competition should be crazy tough, so. Uh, yeah, Social Brainy, I'm just going to have to go week by week, and I mean, I don't even know if I can scratch him late the day of the race. That's the only way I'm going to be able to tell who's going to be in it. But you know what, let me check. See if anything's happened in the ratings recently. For the rankings so proud wonder we have to look out for that horse if proud wonder is not going to be in that last gws dirt race then yeah i think I, I have to run us with social branding in there at the worst he'll still finish in the money which will still give him points he should still finish top three even with green conditioning i think he's strong enough now can i scratch him today if i wanted Ooh, I could. Okay, so we can actually see who's in this race. This works out perfectly. I didn't know for sure if you could do that. So I'm... Oh, I forgot. You can't check races in this game like you can in 2004. Oh, all that excitement for nothing, Eric. Well, you know what I'm actually going to do? And I always talk about not liking to do this. I'm a safe. We're going to go into the race. See who's in there. <laughs> And if I don't see Proud Wonder, then we're running him in there. I mean, if I don't see Proud Wonder, then I'm not going to run him. Because by default, he should still win the GWS. But if Proud Wonder's in there, i got to run him. So let's see. That's what I'll do. This is a rare restart time. You guys know me. I hate doing restarts and reloads. It, it just it kills my immersion in gaming. I can't do it. Proud Wonder's not here. So I need to reload. Or, actually, no. I'm going to do this race. I'm going to win it as I should. And just see what his conditioning will be. I mean, a green social brandy in the China Cup. We have to beat Cosmic Fear. And he probably will be in that race. I guess it's a trade-off. Like, if we win this race, we win the GWS Dirt. And then if we lose the Cosmic Fear, we lose the Turf. Not the end of the Get world. So I guess either way, we're going to win one. We're, we're, we're going to win either both titles or, or at least one of them. Either way you look at it. So I really probably should just let this go through. And just try our best to just compete. Because what's the sense? I mean... What sense does it really make to just, like, forego this race completely? I mean, then again, like I said, we should be able to win the GWS Dirt, though. Because Proud Wonder's not going to be here. I mean, even if somebody else in this race wins, they'll be boosted up to our amount of points as well. But I don't know if that would put them in first place. That's the thing, you know? I don't know who they would... I don't know if they would allow me to remain in first place or if they would give it to somebody else. 
because technically it would show two or three horses tied for first place like does it still give you the title or does it consider whoever's actually at the top like the real first place winner you know what i mean like how does that work i've never had that happen before so i don't know so i'm worried about because of that, I mean, if it's still going to give me first place, even if, let's like, say, another horse wins and ties us in points and they actually move their name above mine with Social Brandy, even if they do that, we should still get the title, right? Which means I could just actually forget this race entirely and just skip it. But I don't know. I'm worried about that. And it's still a rare chance that whoever would need to win this race has the points to even tie me. I'll double check. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, now I think about it, I don't think I'm going to stick with this because, um... Like I said. I mean, even if he even wins, if we don't win... Yeah, we're not even going to win this race, so no. This this would be pointless to keep. If Proud Wonder was here, I would have no choice but to run it, but he's not even going to be here. And we're actually going to come back and win this race. Well... Social Brandy's an incredible horse. What can I say? I thought he was kind of done, and he's still kicking along, actually. And the other horses actually just kind of gassed themselves out by going too fast. Social Brandy remained calm and just kept kept himself in rhythm. Wow. Impressive. But yeah, realistically, I mean, there's no guarantee Cosmic Fear is going to be in that China Cup either. Like, realistic. <laughs> That's just my luck with this game. Both horses might not even be there, which means I could still run those races, do what I need to do, and finish relatively well, and still win both titles. <sighs> well, you know what? Can I actually... Uh, I might need to do a second save. Play through this a little bit and actually see what happens. Worst case worse, I'll have to reload it, and I'll probably skip out on that in the video, but I'm not sure. I mean, we're clearing the... Oh, I was I was looking at the turf and dirt categories wrong. We needed to run in that race because Free Fear and Cosmic Fear were... I had... I literally was looking at the dirt thinking it was the turf. It's actually good that I did that race because that was the race I needed to win. I thought this... What I'm looking at on screen right now, I thought that was for the China Cup and the turf. But no, that literally just happened for the dirt category so we actually needed to win that which means now for the china cup i mean realistically yeah proud wonder is the only horse we have to worry about and we're just gonna have to do our best and i think we're better than proud wonder even not on our best day i i, I do um yeah it's only us and proud wonder here we had to worry about both of the fears remember i literally made that a joke when we first got into the series in this episode um we needed to win that and we did in the green wow that actually worked out for me but i'm still glad i saved imagine i didn't save and then i ended up redoing something that i didn't need to redo uh no i've already won this right yeah i've won that before why would i why would i want to do that it doesn't even make sense eric okay so now he's in the gray. But again, we can run him in that China Cup. He should be back in the green. Yeah, I mean, that's the best we can do. And he, he could still win that race. He's still a strong horse. Such a strong horse. I think he's slowly on the decline now. But nine grade one wins. That was ten and a half on the dirt. I mean, two more dirt wins. I think he'll have the uh, dirt champ title. Like he has no titles now, but he should realistically get four or five titles within like a couple of months. Honestly, he's so close and he's been on a winning streak. 11 wins, 15 starts. This is what Monsters Legend was supposed to be doing. And instead, this fool is only five wins and 15 starts. With only three of those being great ones. Compared to Social Brand, he's nine. <sighs> like I said, I'm really glad I ran him in that race. Imagine... Would have been a terrible decision that I just completely goofed up on. Well, his speed is going to hit 70 soon. His staying as well. His power. And his feel. All of, And I don't know how much his health would change. But the other stats I just mentioned, those will all hit 70 pretty soon. I wonder. 
I wonder if he's such a, a, a sustained growth type that actually his 60s could hit 80s at this current trajectory. By the time he hits his peak, I mean, Vivid Legend is his father, so that's usually like very late into their four-year-old season, kind of melting in to their five-year-old season. That's still two years away from Mustang Alpha. He's only two years old, so his stats didn't look good initially, obviously, in the beginning of his career, but I'm starting to think they might actually be a lot higher than I, than I believe. And if that's the case, he is the horse that Monsters Legend was supposed to be. Mustang Alpha could actually be the horse. It doesn't look like it yet. But I think it's a very good possibility. With two more years of growth, those 60s could hit 80s. And the 50s could hit 70s. That's a pretty solid horse. With the 88 response rating, that could still eventually hit 90, which would put him at a double S. He really could be who Monsters Legend is supposed to be. How ironic would that be? And he's the horse I was literally going to like retire in a couple of months because I thought his stats were so bad and he wasn't going to be worth it. it. Seems the future is actually really bright with him. And Monsters Legend, unfortunately for you, bud, I mean, that grade two got 18 furlongs is your last journey. That's your last rodeo. After that, man, um, I'm just going to have to call it quits. Oh, yeah, yeah, certainly how yeah, the tables have turned, right? Well, Philly Cup is up here with Easta Pool. She is the favorite. I'm not worried about anybody. Let's get this two-year-old award for our girl. Got to get her as many titles as possible. She has an early growth type, so... Again, we get her this... Well, she won't get a title this year, but... We're working on... She has two great ones. Yeah, she has a win at six and seven furlongs, so technically speaking, we're working for like a, uh, would it be a sprinter's title? I think a sprinter's title. All-rounder could be in there if we start to move up in the distance. Mile champ, we don't have anything at a mile yet. But uh, this is the first one. So, I mean, she's kind of moving up. She won at six, she won at seven. Now she could potentially win at eight. So she's kind of moving up the, the ladder. And she still has a distance she can run. So, yeah, we, we could... Oh, slow down, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Slow down. Not that much, not that much, not that much. Okay. Whew. Man, she's a little fiery in the beginning stages of the race. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit difficult sometimes getting her in rhythm. But uh, this is okay. I know we could be running a lot higher up than we should be. Okay, this is where the race is won. I think I've just kept her in a decent positioning. I, this is not going to be S or double S, but at least A, maybe B. That's not terrible. It's better than anything lower than that, obviously. So she's got plenty of stamina left. Now we're going to push. Great run. It's going to be tight at the end because I may have still sent her a little too soon. 12 is rushing. Oh, dear. But uh, I think she's just going to get this win, I hope. Oh, thank goodness. 12 looked like it was literally right on my butt. Nah, she actually smoked the field. <laughs> I still sense her a little bit too early, you know, but she still smoked them. I mean, my goodness. A couple lanes to second place, and then obviously like six lanes back to the rest of the field. So let's go, my girl. East up pool. She's really fun, man. I don't feel like I've said that about, like, an in-game Philly for, like, a while, you know? She's actually really fun to ride with. She feels like a mix of, um... She actually feels like a much calmer Aunt, Aunt B. That's actually who Easter Pool feels like. Aunt B without the temper. And granted, you guys know what I say about Aunt B. Her temper never really bothered me. But, I, you know, there were a couple of races where she did kind of go wild. Um, that's not going to happen with Easter Pool. And I feel like that allows her to just stay in really good control for a majority of the race. Well, Monsters Legend. They give him a 80 cent favoritism in this 18 furlong grade 2. They're saying he's... I mean, they're paying him even money, basically. Like, worse than that. 
Under a dollar to win. What is this game? They're just telling me... Is that the game's way of telling me, like, yeah, he's just not... You're not supposed to run him in grade ones. You kind of got a... Kind of a trolley horse. You, you, you can only run him in grade twos. Now, of course, the favoritism still doesn't mean that much because I've been the favorite with him several times. We've still lost. But the fact that they put him at under a dollar for this... Like, wow. And that's only because of his stats, man. It certainly is not because of his track record. He is underachieved quite significantly. It is definitely not because of his racing profile. That is a load of mal malarkey. Hey, what are you doing? It's just his stats. If he had worse stats, there's no way they would be giving me that much favoritism. There's no freaking way. That's how broken the game is sometimes. It knows the horse is supposed to be strong, but like it doesn't understand. It gave me a bad response rating on the horse, which significantly reduces its chances of winning a lot of big races, and a lot of races in general. The game doesn't understand that. They weren't thinking about that when they were coding it. I mean, if we win this race, like, that's just, I think it's, that's it. Like, what else am I going to do with them? On a four-year-old campaign, I'm not in the mood for that. I would much rather try to find another horse, because actually I can retire him now, and then we still have chance to maybe find a two-year-old that hasn't been picked up yet before the end of the year. You know, maybe another Philly if one's available, or maybe one of the other cults like Hot Soul. If he's still there, then I'll certainly go ahead and acquire him. Potentially have another horse like Social Brandy. Say less, bro. Even though Hot Soul's only S range, but you know, I think he feels like a double S horse to me. That's a no-brainer, man. Or maybe another decent filly in there. That would kind of be nice with some better stats. Higher stats for one. I almost need to look for that. Even if I don't like like her leg type or something else. I just need to look for a filly with really high stats. Because most of our fillies, the highest their stats are, are like A. I don't even have many fillies. Or I don't, I mean broodmares. Like the gals back in the breeding barn. Most of them, their highest stats are A. There's only a couple of them that have like one or two S's. And that's, I think, Big Monster. You know what I mean? So, like, my, my broodmares are really not that strong. We have really strong broodmares now, I think, in Galbraith 2004. Not super horse quality yet, but we're getting there. Especially Butterfly Effect. I mean, I would say she counts as a super horse in that game now. Um, this game, we don't have anything close to that really yet. We're much better than what, where we were when we first started this playthrough. But we still have quite a ways to go. Speaking of quite a ways to go. Gotta get Monsters Legend rolling now. I don't know what I don't know what's gonna happen here. He's gonna have to really explode in the stretch. It's not looking too good, but we'll see. Okay, decent run here. Decent closing speed. This is what he's supposed to be able to do in grade ones, but I'm telling you guys it cannot be done. It, it, those horses are too good. I mean, so yeah, that was an easy win with him, but like I can't do that in grade ones with him. The horses are too good. These horses are a lot easier, right? They're grade two horses. You occasionally get some of the grade one super horses that end up in a grade two. Sure, we've all experienced that, but most of the time it's, you know, grade two horses. Grade two is really a good stepping stone for when you're trying to really get into rhythm, I think, with your horses. If they have a later grow type and they can't win grade ones right off the bat, right? Grade twos are a really good stepping stone. You get to win them. They're usually pretty fun races as well, so it keeps you in a good motivation with your horse once they're ready to hit their peak. You know, I mean, look. They're telling me I can't run him in grade ones. Like, ugh, whatever, bro. I'm over it. I'm retiring him because, like, I mean, like I said, a four-year-old campaign with him just doesn't sound fun. And doing that would only be worth it if it could get him a title. And I still don't even think I can win grade ones with them. So I'm I'm just over it. So Monsters, man, I know it's not your fault, brother. Can't help. Their stats are great, but I mean I can't I can't win with you competitively at the highest level. Yeah, we could win money with them and wins, but that would be too frustrating. It wouldn't be fun for me. So I will save him just because if I want to do something later in a series, of course. And then Go ahead and uh, retire. 
I think over perfection. His stats are better, are definitely better than perfection. So, A rank. I wonder what his eval is. If they give him A double S. I'm gonna be shocked. I mean, yes, he won three grade ones, but still, does that really? No, I've gotten double S's for that before. Yep. Wow. I was just saying it as I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? No, there. I've had several horses back here that only won like two or three grade ones, and they were double S classifications. So. His stats don't even look that much better. At least like this. I mean, yeah, the temper and the guts at S is nice. Well, in all honesty, he's actually the strongest horse so far because he's the only one with two double S's. Or excuse me, I wish I had that. He's the only one with two S's back here. Look at that response, E. Disgusting, man. See, we have a legend, awesome response. But, ugh. The speed... The power's not great. The feel isn't good. But, I mean, everything else and the power response and feel really aren't good. And that's actually a big downside to him. Like, if you have a horse that's not strong in its power, that struggles to find a good range to feel comfortable in, which is his feel, and then it's just completely unresponsive when it comes to the stretch, the response, which is E, if all those are bad, yeah, I think that makes a, a racehorse pretty hard to win with. Despite the other stats, those are really important attributes in this game. Those really can those really can determine a winning or losing season with a horse. So let's look at the brew mares because I really would big monster. What's our response? E. Ah. So he got vivid legend stats from vip from he got vivid legend stats except for response. The only thing he inherited from his mother was literally her worst stat. What are... Th this is what I mean. God Racer just, just loves to, to, to troll and torment me. Out of all the stats... all Out of all the worst stats they could have given him. They gave him his mother's response. But everything else was from Vivid Legend, basically. For more or less. <sighs> Doesn't make any sense, man. <sighs> Okay, Cassius Scow. Okay, everybody but Scabbard actually has a good response rating. Thank goodness. Cassius Gal, could you work? Hmm. Monsters of Legend and Catch This Gal. Ooh, perfect art. Stamina would take a, a hit, but the horse would be extremely fast with a really good response rating. That could be pretty fun. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Perfect art and Monsters Legend? Or. Cash this gal in Monsters Legend. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty tough, man. That is pretty tough. Um, I'm really indecisive about that because I think if we breed him with Cassius Gal, there shouldn't be no bad stats except for the power. The power I'm just having to sacrifice now, which I hate, but I think with a really good response rating, it's actually making up for it quite nicely. So I know if I breed him with her, the power will still remain bad, and the stamina will probably take a little bit of a hit. But other than that, it should still be a really solid horse. Um, I'm trying to think. A seventy. So, yeah, speed is still going to be probably high seventies. Guts and temper that could be. Guts could still be a S. Temper could be A. Okay, and then everything else is just kind of going to level out to an A or B. So like I said, it would just be it will really be strengthening I think the stats between the two horses for sure. And again, Monster's Legend was just missing a better response rating. So if you take an E and you breed that with an A, there's your there's your C rank. There's your average response, which is much better than E. E is detrimental in this game. So that's reliable, but perfect art. I mean, I like the speed. We could get a really fast horse. Proceeder leg type, mid. We could get a really fast proceeder, which would be really fun. It would be like perfect art times five, you know, and on a cult or a filly. 
In fact, if it's with perfect art, we could get like a super perfect art, you know, <laughs> like an evolved perfect art, like a second form perfect art in Pokemon terms, right? I think most Pokemon these days still have three forms. Then again, I don't know. I can't follow the new shows anymore. It's too much. But um, let's just say three forms. This is just form one for perfect art. What if form two is like, you know, obviously a much stronger version of herself. And then form three could be the super horse or whatever. Maybe this one could be the super horse. I don't know. And like I said, you look at all her rate, uh, ratings as well for guts, response, and health. All those are A. That's really good. Feeling temper or beast, they're not bad. Um, yeah, health would still be good. The response would be improved. Guts would still remain good. Yeah, I mean, I th temper would actually improve. This could fix the issue we have with Monsters Legend, realistically. I think Cassius Guy would be reliable. Don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of Bs in there, so a lot of 60s. Monsters Legend had pretty high stats at his peak. I want to keep those, and I think the best chance to keep those high is breeding them with perfect art. So, yeah. I mean, I still haven't done anything with Cash Disc Gal. It feels kind of bad to keep putting her off, but... I mean, I think we have to get Monsters Legend and perfect art out of here first. I think that'll... I think that will be good to, to do initially. And then the following year, because I don't think I'm going to use anybody else. Like, be a legend. <sighs> Not bad stats. I do kind of want to use B, but he has bears. I don't, you guys know how I feel about that ability. It doesn't always, I mean, it doesn't usually affect me, but in the couple races that it does, it's just annoying. I don't really want that on a horse. Especially a horse with not good stamina. Like, I don't even want to deal with that as a headache. Um... I, I do want to use him, but Monsters Legend again. He could have been in a he could have been a super great horse, but that response rating absolutely destroyed it. You know, so it's like we we need to like kind of redeem him in a way, and you know he he should have been a monster. That's why I named him that. But that response rating just killed it all. So I would like to redeem him, and I think breeding him, beautiful guy too. Um. Yeah, you breed him with perfect art initially. I, like I said, then you get a really fast horse with a really good response rating. Or at least a decent one, I should say. A much better response rating. Something that's not E-ranked, right? We can finally take that speed somewhere. Guts, you know, everything else. Stamina, like I said, will take a hit. Cash this guy would be the safer choice, clearly. But again, I think perfect art has higher stats. I mean, she has... Four A's and an S compared to Cassius Gal, who has no S's and only two A's. Yeah, she has B's, but that's just mainly 60s. Perfect Art technically has five stats that were 80s and a 90. So that's pretty much what Monsters Legend kind of was. So I think breeding those two together makes the most sense. And it could really work out well, I hope. And the following year, maybe we'll do... Maybe we'll do Be a Legend and catch this Gal. No, we can't do that in breeding. I don't really like doing in breeding. I know some people say it's not a big deal, doesn't matter. That's all subjective. I've seen people say it has affected them and people say it hasn't. I'm not willing to see if it's gonna affect me. I just don't even want to risk it. And it just feels weird, so let's just keep that in mind. Anyways, um I, yeah, I can't breed be a legend with Cassius Gal, so or perfect art. Or honeybee, because they all come from crimson, and he is crimson in his bloodline. The only one I can breed him with is Scabbit, but uh, uh, Scabbit's stats are not good in this game, so don't really want to do that. And Big Monster, I mean, Big Monster could work with Be a Legend. That that could be nice. So yeah, how? And then we're still skipping Cassius Gal, like... <laughs> it's just like, just... I mean, the only one I could do with Cassius Gal is Vivid Legend. E-breaking, okay, his, his response is S, her response is A, okay. You know, maybe we should do Vivid Legend and Cassius Gal next year. She's been sitting there, and she might really be a decent broodmare. She could be like a pink gemstone for us, you know, in this game. But, like, I haven't given her a shot, so... 
here's what we're gonna do next year's breeding we're gonna go ahead and knock out monsters legend and perfect art first and then the following year after that we'll do vivid legend and catch this guy and then we'll fit, fit be a legend in there somewhere I'm, I'm not in a rush to use him yet it'll be fine so that's what we'll be doing actually i want to look at the foals right quick Ooh, Paracosm has had quite a growth in about six months of time. Four star potential, four stars on everything, and five star on toughness from Crimson Art and Big Monster. Yeah, Crimson stats are better across the board. He's much more average, so you combine his av his above average stats. He's not like super high, but Crimson is above average stats pretty much everywhere. You breed that with Big Monster with above average stats and some super high stats. I mean, I think it makes sense. Could be a, a super horse paracosm. I hope so. Butterfly effect, a horse I've named off of one of my favorite songs. She's doing um, 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 amazing. He stargazing did extremely well. I still wanted him to achieve higher, but he did extremely well. Again, named after another one of my favorite songs. And paracosm is the third horse named after one of my favorite songs. It's been good luck for the first two. I think it could be good luck for the third. And that's a tradition I will keep. And Primal Justice is just looking solid all the way around from perfection out of Big Monster. And we went through his bloodline earlier, so... Let me look. I'm so worried about response rating now. I know hers is A. What is perfections? Is his A too? As long as they have good response ratings, I am not going to be worried. Ah, I retired him. I know she has A. Oh, she has E. Oh, oh gosh. She has E response. You know what? Wait, I think I took a screenshot of it earlier. I was doing some... Doing some figuring out. Just wasn't on my computer. Um... Oh, I hope I did. I swear I did. Did I not? I didn't. All the horses I took a screenshot of, I did not take a screenshot of his. Well, I keep forgetting. She's the one giving horses bad response rating. So I have to be careful when I do breed Big Monster. I have to make sure the stud has at least B, B ranked response. But I would prefer A. I think A works out a lot better. It gives you to, to that C point. If you do B, you're still technically like in the D-ish range. So yeah, A, a and up for response. I, I don't remember what perfect art's response was. Let me look at, perf um, I mean, perfect uh, perfections. Uh, perfect art is his, is his mother, who we're going to look at now. Her response is A. And who did I breed? I think I, was that her and Crim? No, that was her and Vivid Legend. So if she had A, Vivid Legend had S. Okay, so Perfection must have had good response. I think he did. I, I don't recall him being hard to work with, really, once he got going. I just think he his stats just for whatever reason. And, and don't get me wrong, he did pretty well, actually. He won quite a bit. Um, I still, you know, I still think he was one of those horses that, again, could have achieved a little bit more. But for what it's worth, he did pretty well. So, um... Yeah, so that with Big Monster, yeah. Yeah, he should he should have a high response rating, which means that should cancel out the that foal of Primal Justice. Right? Um Yeah, yeah, for sure. That should cancel out that bad response rating, hopefully, so this horse, sh I shouldn't have to worry about. Worry about, and now I think about it, I wonder what I. I mean, I'm not gonna go back through the archives, but I wonder what. What category do you think response would fall under for one of these notes? You know, with potential, f you know, fitness, toughness, and discipline. Where do you think response would fall under? I, I think it'd be under discipline, right? If a horse is not responding to you, to me, that just means the horse doesn't want to listen to you, which means the horse is undisciplined, right? I think that's probably the given. I think it would fall in that category. I wonder if Monsters Legends discipline was really low. Was it like three stars tops, which isn't great? 
two or three stars. Maybe that was it. I can't quite remember, but I feel like I'm vaguely seeing it. He may have had low discipline. I think that's where a response would, would fall under. I can't imagine it being under toughness or finesse or potential. I, I think it'd be under discipline. So I, I remember one of his stats kind of being low, but I don't know. Well, we know Crimson Art has good response, so that should cancel it out. That's all we need. I didn't realize Breeding Monsters Legend and, um... I mean, Breeding Big Monster with, uh... Vivid Legend. But then again, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Mustang Alpha has Vivid Legend's response. But his older brother here, Monsters Legend, he just completely inherited big monsters. I forgot, this game doesn't really cancel them out sometimes. It just sticks you with just one of the parents' ratings, which I think is a little bit goofy and weird. Uh, all that excitement and all that whatever for really nothing, because I totally forgot about that. Well, that certainly keeps things a bit complicated. Now I have like two foals from Big Monster on the way, and there's a potential they could both get bad response ratings, or both could get good response ratings, fingers crossed, or one one half and half, like we had now, where one has a good response rating, one has a bad. It could be any one of those scenarios. Like, <sighs> he used to pull a 91 speed. Yeah, she's a much calmer Aunt B for sure. That's, like, that's what she feels like. And she's still only S ranked, right? Why is she not double S? I think like she should be a double S horse with her stats and how she runs. I mean, she's done for the year. I don't think I need to run her in anything else. I mean, this, she's in the green. I don't know if that'd be smart. Or I could run her in the Uranus. And you know what? She has an okay dirt rating. Let's try it. Or this is against the Phillies, but you know what? Let's just get her a little bit off. All right. Well, last three races of the year. Um, so we're still running Social Brandy in the China Cup, and yeah, just gonna have to hope that we can win that race. But I'm glad we needed to run him in that GWS dirt because I totally had the two races confused. So, you know, we we have one GWS title secure. Which we needed to do anyway, so now we have a chance to secure the second. It's not happening in this race, but probably the next one. Anyways, Mustang Alpha. I decided to put him in the Young Crown Cup. Decent odds. Not in the money, but technically... Actually... Well, yeah. Not in the money. Like, 6th or 7th. That's not bad. Especially as Pi been feeling really good with him. I mean, that, that gives us a chance for sure. You know... People are wagering in this race. I mean, actually, let's go ahead and see. What would he pay? I'm going to bet on him for a win because I've been feeling good with him. So I, I would just like to go for the win. If we don't get it, it's fine. But I'm going to put the pressure on myself there. So I want to see what that pays off in the dividends. All right. Well, Mustang Alpha, my boy. Let's go. Tough competition. Your first grade one, but I've been feeling good with you. Well, technically second grade one. I forgot. He ran on a huge stage in the World yeah, JF Cup. Yeah. On the dirt, though. The horses are on the yeah, he still has the potential to be really good. I don't... I mean, I highly doubt any stat will hit the 90s. That's rare. He would already have to have something in the 70s by now. So no stat's going to hit 90, I think, but... Except for maybe his temp, uh, excuse me, his uh, his response rating, which is like 88 right now. Outside of that, everything else could be 80s and 70s, realistically. And maybe like a couple 60s in there, so. That'd be decent. That'd be very decent, especially with a good response rating. We could do a lot with that. Good response rating and okay stamina, like slightly above average once he's at his peak, so like that's... Obviously very doable. He's very easy to work with, man. I don't really have to do a whole lot with him. Alright, looking good here. No, I, I'm going to swing him out. They're way too clumped up in there and I don't like it. Okay, you got to start moving now. 
They're moving now. Okay. I would have preferred an inside trip, but we can't really afford that. He's looking pretty good here. 10 is going to kind of show us up somewhere. There's the 10, but uh, Mustang Alpha, second grade one here on the turf. He has a chance to finish on the podium in second. Now he's going to finish in third. Not the win. Fourth. <laughs> okay. I think that was a third, but you know what? Whatever. We're supposed to finish eighth. I think that's a really good sign. And that sucks because if we would have finished third, we could have seen what we at least would have paid for the other like exotic wagers like Quinella, Exacto, Trifecto. <sighs> Either way, that was a really good run. I mean, I don't think there's much else I could do. He's, his stats are still not where they really need to be at his peak. Like I said, give it another year and a half. I mean, I think if he continues to develop like this, he... Anytime we've had a horse like this where we've been in very good rhythm with them early on, with consistent results and wins, they've always turned out to be really good horses. So Mustang Alpha is already on that trajectory. The fact that he's still only deranked. I couldn't I can't imagine once one of those stats hit 70, they'll still keep him at D. And granted, I know winning a grade one would probably boost him up a lot, so we do need to try to get that done, but. He's coming along, man, so I'm not upset with him at all. Uh, there's nothing else for us to do with him, so... Let's get a China Cup here, Social Brandy, and the East Pool, and see what the end of year results will be. And actually, that's probably where I'll end the episode. So, Social Brandy, China Cup. What'd I say? Those horses aren't even here, I don't think. Proud Wonder is not even here. So this is no pressure, and we're still the favorite. Wow. Social Brandy is just that good of a horse. Granted, obviously, if the rivals were here, they would probably be close to our favoritism, maybe even higher. But, I mean, this is two GWS wins for him in one year. And he could get horse of the year, which could be a third. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, it, did it just skip the, the intro? I was waiting for the intro. Did it skip it? I looked away for one second. Okay. Well, thank goodness Social Brainy is just an absolute monster and can just go to the front without much effort. I mean, really, I gave him a little bit of an encouragement to get to the front, and he absolutely sends it. Bad position. He's in fourth. Oh, not really. My bad. Okay. Okay, okay. I got you, I got you. I mean, he still didn't use that much stamina to get to to get back up to the front, considering. he's And he's not even at 100%. This guy is actually crazy. <laughs> Social Brandy, what gets you motivated, brother? What gets you motivated to be such a horse? Being social? Just being social amongst the other horses, you're just like just kind of like gossiping about how great you are, or just hearing horses gossip about how great you are. Do horses even do that? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Well, seems like somebody's closing. Oh, yeah, 97 got us for sure, but it doesn't matter because like we're winning the GWS. Kind of felt like I mistimed that a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Third place is still enough points to push us completely ahead. Because the closest horse to us was Proud and Wonder with 24. He was tied. Everybody else was, was at 12 points. So the highest they could get is 24, and we're already going past 24. So, yeah, not a great race, but it's fine. Obviously, that um, bad start. Really mess things up. A good start changes the complete dynamic of that. And we win that. But it's not even a big deal because, again, he's going to win both GWS titles. I don't think I've ever had a horse do that in the same year. <laughs> GWS turf by four points. Whew. Four point winner there. For the turf, 11 point winner for the dirt. Wow. 
Let's go, social. <laughs> GWS, dirt and turf in the same year. It actually worked out. I didn't even have to reload anything. Oh, let's go. That's awesome, man. We'll finish the race with uh, East of Pool, I think, right? Social Brandy. First two titles, and he gets two GWS titles. That's awesome, man. Let's freaking go, my boy. <sighs> what a horse you are. What a horse you are. Two grade one wins already. Or, excuse me, two uh, GWS titles, I mean. <laughs> oh, that looks so nice. That looks so nice, man. So happy for Social Brainy. Such a monstrous horse, really. Dude is just like a freak. But, like, in a good way. Like, he's just really, really strong. Again, one of those horses I feel like people don't talk about in the Galbraiser community. Like, why are conversations not held about, held about some of these really good horses? We all know about the, you know, Harful Delights and Winning Posts or, excuse me, Spinning Posts, Wonder Whales, the horses I mentioned earlier. You know, Vivid Legend, whatever. We all know about those horses. Fast Navy. Why is nobody mentioning Social Brainy? Surely this horse should be included in the conversation. Not in this race, but just in general. Anyways, east of uh, pool. I decided to run around the dirt. She has an okay dirt rating, so it's better than the worst one. And actually still has a chance to win. Second favorite behind Petite Ridge, so. We could try to grab her a dirt wind here too. In Long Beach. Let's see how she does, and this will be the last race of the episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed a return back to 2003. I like this track a lot. Like the dirt tracks with the palm trees, they're nice. They just remind me of where I would wish to be sooner than later. I'm heading back. I need palm trees and mountains in my life, man. I really do. It's very, uh, for me at least, it's very, very relaxing. Just very, like, I don't know if therapeutic is the word. I don't know if that sounds so extreme, but that's what it feels like. You know, like, every night or every evening is a beautiful sunset with palm trees and mountains. You know, just casually just doing just normal stuff, you know? But like, in other places, you kind of have to be fortunate to get nights like that all the time. But in certain places, that's just the given every day, every night of most of the season. You know, most of the year and most of the seasons. So, yeah, I miss it. And it makes for dope and cool photo ops with the friends as well. Of course, if you like to do that thing. Okay, if you do walk. decide to do that thing. You know, I still like to hang out with my friends. I mean, you guys know I like the outdoors. Like most of us, I think, do. So usually me and my friends, I mean, we do like to hike and like, you know, go explore places all the time. So, um, yeah, that really works for us, you know. I mean, we're all kind of artists in a way. So, it's kind of how we connect. Aw, oh, come on, East. You got this, girl. Overwhipped. But she's going to hold on. Where was the other horse? Was it the four? Why did it look like that horse was closer? It's, the radar on this game really confuses me. It makes them look so much closer than they are. East of Pool clears that race. It's still by, what, two lengths? <laughs> she gets it done. That is a win at eight and a half on the dirt for East of Pool. What a girl. Surely that's a two year old award for the Phillies, right? Surely they wouldn't rob her and rob us of that now. That would be punishable under a court of Gallup Racer law. East of Pool, she does it again. She gets the Jupiter Stakes win, and she wins it clear and easy. What a gal, man. She's such an easy horse to ride with. She really is like Aunt B. She gets out and she's so fast when she has that turn of foot. She's gone, man. She's just ripping it up the track. She can do it on the turf. And now she proves she can also do it on the dirt. When she's... <laughs> wow, what a horse. Well, East of Pool, 126. 
for a two-year-old. It's not bad. Hot Soul, 125. Oh, I forgot to go look at the horses. Oh, that was the point of retiring Monsters Legend. I still have a chance. Actually, there's a chance the horses still be around as a three-year-old. That literally happened, but still, that usually is not my luck. Um, now I can scroll down. But like, you can't do that prior to it. Who am I looking for? Monsters Legend? Yeah, is he even on here? Did he even clear 101? Probably not, huh? Yeah, there is no way. Yeah, he didn't even get on the board for 101. And I figured he wouldn't. Yeah, I figured he wouldn't get up there. Social Brandy, 138 for the mid, 137 for the long. Let's go. And 135 for the dirt. Easy peasy. 11th squid. Uh, let's see if Mustang Alpha made it. Oh, yeah. 116 for Mustang Alpha already as a two year old. And his older brother couldn't even get on the board. I mean, yeah, I missed an opportunity to get any two year olds that might be gone next year, but you know. Uh, yeah, he used to pull a month. Mustang Alpha, 116. That's solid, man. Perfect partner, best two-year-old Philly. Cosmic Fear, best three-year-old Philly. Really? Okay. Social Brainy got best dirt horse and best older horse, of course. Universal Cup. What what a year for Social Brandy. Honestly. Heck of a year for Social Brandy. Two titles and two awards for the best dirt horse of the year. And best older horse. You can't really do much better than that. Disappointed about the two-year-old thing. They definitely robbed us on that one. I surely thought East of Pool with four grade one wins. Probably more than perfect partner. I certainly think she deserved to be up there. But the game has decided otherwise. So that's a bit agitating. But it's fine. East of Pool is getting her title in her three-year-old season because she's going to win the GWS. That is going to happen. So, it's fine. It's fine. We win the jockey win average and the earnings. Ooh la la, who really cares? So, we're with horse, and this is Paracosm. And we already looked at the stats. The name will stay the same. Uh, the tack. Paracosm. Uh, gotta give you a hood. For sure. I just have no idea how this is going to go. Hmm. That blue and pink looks so weird to me. It's not really the goal. I'm just throwing colors around because I'm trying to figure something out, trust me. Hmm. Do I have to stick with that? No. I was gonna say I don't wanna stick with that if I'm forced to. I keep forgetting some the some of the different things about this game in two thousand and four. Wait, wait, wait. Uh hmm. some of these colors looked better you know I think I've done purple a lot recently and white oh I kind of like the purple and black Actually, I really like the purple and black I think yep um, hmm
I have a certain theme on my head. I know it probably looks wild to you guys, but just just let me work, let me work. Okay, green. Black. Hmm. No. Gray. Oh. Actually, no, because that looks weird. Black and then the bandages. What's throwing me off? Is the green throwing me off at the top? I can't tell if the green is throwing me off or not. Green and purple, how would that look? Probably, yeah, yucky. Purple and green. Play Scooby Doo socks. <laughs> hmm. I hear that actually works in some weird way. I mean, it's a consistent theme of purple, black, and green. Like, it's kind of what was in my head. I wanted some blue in there, but I think the purple looks better. I'm going to stick with that. All right, we got to do training, and then this will end the episode. You guys know me. I'm just doing guts because it's no point to do the others if I suck at it. Man, to be honest, I don't think it makes that much of a difference in reality. So. Three, two, one, go! I'd like to see how he actually looks on track once they change the camera angle. Hmm. That was actually kind of the look I wanted. It's supposed to have kind of like a weird, a weird trippy look to it. Ah, I was too distracted trying to look at him. But yeah, that's actually the look I kind of wanted on him. That that did work out. I know it probably looks weird, but I promise you, that was kind of the vision in my head. I usually think about song cover arts when I name my horses after songs. I think about the color theme. I like to have that kind of symbolism. So, whatever. That that was okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like it. All right, uh, let's get Mustang Alpha in a race for next race. Grade 3? I would like to put him in a grade 1, but there's nothing available for him for quite a bit of time, so we're just going to have to do a grade 3 with him. It's fine. And then I'll worry about the others once we get there. So, guys, this is going to do it for this episode. I appreciate your love and support on the channel. As always, we'll be back with some more Galbraith 2003 action here, hopefully very soon. And uh, until next time, Ports Racing Gamer signing out. Hope you all have a great and fantastic day. We shall see you all later, and goodbye. Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made.